The war had been a brutal symphony of fire and fury. The Zarkans, a race of insectal warriors, descended upon Earth with technology that seemed invincible. Cities crumbled under plasma blasts, continents choked on the fumes of burning metal. Yet, humanity fought back. Not with superior weaponry, but with ingenuity and a desperate kind of unity. We repurposed alien tech, turned their own arrogance against them. We were the fleas on the gargantuan Zarkan war machine, biting, harassing, never giving up. Years bled into one another, a blur of scorched earth and makeshift trenches. Leaders rose and fell, their names etched not on monuments, but on the calloused palms of weary soldiers. Slowly, the tide began to turn. Victories, at first small and scattered, became bolder, more decisive. We learned their weaknesses, exploited their hubris. The Zarkin mothership, a monstrous steel leviathan in geosynchronous orbit, became a constant, mocking reminder of their power. Then, silence. For weeks, the skies were eerily empty. Hope, a fragile flower, bloomed in the wastelands. Was it over? Had we won? The answer came in a blinding flash. A single pulse of emerald light engulfed the planet. Cities, already skeletal monuments, disintegrated into dust. The ground itself seemed to heave, oceans boiling away in an instant. It wasn't a bomb, it was a scalpel, a precise excision of a problem. Earth, once teeming with life, became a lifeless marble adrift in the cold void. The Zarkin mothership remained, a silent, unmoving god surveying the destruction it had wrought. In its metallic heart, a single Zarkin warrior watched the display, a flicker of something akin to sadness in its multifaceted eyes. The humans, for all their weakness, had surprised them with their tenacity. Now, the game was over. The warrior turned away, a single, guttural order resonating through the ship, next.